Ah, wrong, wrong things. Things are bad. Hello there, Maestro here, back with another episode of Factorio. As you can see, we got a bit of a large visual improvement on the game. <laughs> uh, I, I know I wouldn't be able to hold it up too long. This is another episode of Terra Tech. Basically, right now, I'm just waiting on video ideas for Factorio, so you might see a bit more of these videos popping up. Because I'm trying to do a bit more of this. Because why not? Because you can literally make a vehicle called the Screamer. And yes, this is literally a vehicle called the Screamer. And most of this lag should be on my side. If my audio is dropping out, it's on your side. So, easy definition. Literally just a vehicle called the Screamer. Because absolutely, <laughs> why not? Oh, and that's a big guy. Okay, I am not outfitted for combat at all on this vehicle. It's purely mobility, and I don't know where my base is. Oh, and that kind of missed flying. That's not good. So, I will try to... I'm going to be trying to get... I'm going to be trying to get this thing up in the air. That's what's going to happen this episode. <laughs> because I have no way to get it up in the air at all. <laughs> Wait, really? I just realized this. Uh... I want to face this upwards, so I want the open side to be up. Really? How hard is this? I want the white rim to be on the top side. Unless that's it? That is it. Weird. And that's not even the right orientation. <laughs> Needs to be that way. <laughs> oh no! X undo. Why do these things have to be so hard? It's not like it's rocket science or anything. Not at all. There's no way this is rocket science. I want to see an actual rocket in this game. That would actually be pretty amazing. Just imagine that. Just a rocket being provided, like being controlled by an AI. Just being propelled at your face at a hundred miles an hour. <laughs> that would just be amazing. Just be like, why? What have you done with this game? <laughs> oh, look, you don't even count at the right spot. You're amazing. I need a contact point out here. Come on. It shouldn't be this hard. There we go. Now it should be, uh... Okay, it does do that. Oh my god, the lag. Probably because I'm near my base, but... Eh. I need the portal to get rid of stuff. Also, the map's glitched again. If you remember that happened in the last episode, I don't know what was up with that. But what should happen is there should be a little a slope here. And that GSO trading station should be half engulfed in the slope. Because if you do not remember, we actually moved the whole entire base in that episode using just a standardized tech. Should be called, I am a show-off, Terra Tech. <laughs> Let's 
Let's see how absolutely terrible this thing is at flying. It does not fly. Oh, but it has some turn. <laughs> so stupid. Just look at me just flying around, just calmly just about to destroy this whole entire thing. <laughs> and I didn't even save it either, so this is just... Oh, this is exactly what happens. That's why I put so many repair bubbles on this thing. <laughs> Especially when controlling him lag. And my mic sounds a bit little a little bit low. Why is that? Oh, oh, oh. I don't think this is working. I don't know why, but I have a feeling that this isn't working. Do I need more wings? Do I just need to produce a bunch of wings? Oh my god. Yep, and the only way to get out of this is to zoom. Because if not, you'll just end up moving the tech or controlling the tech. Hey, that's exactly what I was looking for. I was looking for you. Flight blocks. You aren't expensive. You have rotors, but you lost you have rotor fans. Rotor fans have a casing, which means that you can actually stick stuff around them. Which is very nice. And because this game has no grasp on physics. Well, it has a slight grasp on physics, but like, there's a certain hover glitch you can do where this... Actually, can I do that? I want to see if I can uh, hover glitch. Let's see what happens here, uh, if I can even remember how to do it, and I'm going to for sure save before doing it, too. Hey, we're going to switch deck. Now, what should happen, oh my god, that is an auto snapshot. <laughs> Flight blocks. You need to place a hover plate down. Right? And then you need to place blocks around it. I'm going to try to balance it as best as I can. And then you put a wheel going upwards into it. Generally, people use these. Oh, can you not do that anymore? Or am I just dumb? Yeah, I placed that wrong. <laughs> ah, I hate... I kind of hate having two screens because when I'm playing a game, it doesn't lock my mouse in, so this can happen. And I'm now I'm over on OBS right now. Kinda hate it, kinda don't, but it's yeah, whatever. So then it needs to face upwards. And this end up ends up happening. And it registers no max height. But then watch this. Okay, I do not know where I am. But you teleport. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so stupid. Just to... Nope, I'm just gonna go way up in the air. I'm not counting as flying. Yeah, this is just... This is too fun to mess with. This episode might just be me messing around with weight on Hawkeye blocks. I'm gonna add a... 
These are stupid heavy. That's why I'm adding a bunch of them. Well, as compared to Venturer has the light stuff. Hawkeye has the heavy stuff. GSO has the all-around stuff. And uh, Geocorp over there, that big yellow machine, has... Let's see what happens. Exactly as I thought. Good. Now, how many of these blocks do I have to remove? Okay, I'm just gonna... Oh, I picked Fixed Banker. I can't rotate this crap. Okay. Anchor me, please. Also, I still count as in the build beam. Why can't I get that to go away? I am slowly hovering that direction. I'm about to anchor on top of that other tech. <laughs> oh, this is great. But then, you can just go up here. Do this. <laughs> right? <laughs> you can do this. And then absolutely lose control of your tech. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm saving it right now. I'm saving it. You can actually save before every single battle that you go into, which is actually kind of convenient because if you get destroyed, you get a retry. But this is what happens. When you give somebody rockets and the hover glitch, it's, it just destroys it. No, avoid it. <laughs> and it just gives me unlimited propulsion, too. That's good to know. Yep, and it's leaning slightly forward now, and I cannot control that. It's just leaning slightly forward. I can't anchor. <laughs> but I can slightly vibrate all over the ground. <laughs> Looks like Emmett from the Lego movie when he gets on the table. Just all over the place. They actually had a guy under the table, like, shaking a magnet so he would go absolutely mad. What? That was a 90 degree turn. That shouldn't have been possible. Wait. Wait. Does this mean... Does this mean... I think it does mean. Oh, it does mean. And I am not anchored, and I think that's in the wrong direction. Who cares? We're going to be flying. We are going to be flying like a madman. That's a little bit more central. Okay. <laughs> Mother of God. <laughs> and I damaged everything. Hey, it's actually holding me in the middle of the air. Interesting. Now, just curious, what happens when me... 
I don't know. Say add a bit more boosters. Yes, this went from actually getting something productive done to... Oh no, we're just going to mess around the whole entire episode. So don't worry, I understand what I'm doing. Wrong direction. There we go, right direction. Bad Deadpool. Good Deadpool. <laughs> Wait, that's not the sounds? I can't do any different sounds. It just sounds like a bunch of sucking. AKA my entire life. <laughs> There is absolutely no way this could go wrong right now. <laughs> and yes, I realize these are in front of these. It doesn't matter. It doesn't care about destruction of fire. It just cares that there is a tur that there is a booster on this craft, and it just propels it. So this one actually has boosters too. So this, like, it has boosters, and actually, when it, the animation shows these shooting out the back. But it's inside. But what adventure tech do we have? Oh, I see. I see weapons. Ooh, that's a roundabout mortar. These, these are good. These are really good. <laughs> Imagine just putting this out in the middle of nowhere with a contact shotgun. The contact shotgun works from like two or three blocks in front of you. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Ooh. That uses a venture rotating anchor. That's why I'm using, that's why I'm buying all this stuff. Look at this. Monster truck wheels. There is absolutely no way you can go wrong with monster truck wheels. Absolutely no way you can go wrong. When they can't even get out. Of the, the train station. <laughs> Who's ready to test this out? I am. Mother of God! We broke some things. We broke lots of things. We broke the hover glitch! <laughs> so now this should be just a anchoring tech. Yep, that's all it is, is an anchoring tech. It needs that wheel. It needs the wheel facing upwards into that hover plate, or else it does not work. Also, before I break anything else, I'm going to... Uh, I don't really care about that one GSO block, but I care about that because that's like 400 parts. And it is stupid expensive. Actually, how much are these? How much do these run for? Uh, flight blocks. Oh, it doesn't have anything on them. Oh, we got horn steer havers. These change your direction in midair. These would have been great to use on this, but it doesn't work, as you could tell. And we also have so much money. <laughs> Yet, I still haven't gotten the million block bucks. Oh, I just noticed we are rounding up on 20 minutes. So I'd like to say, uh... Thanks for hanging out, watching me do just random shenanigans and terror tech. If you, if you enjoyed the video, you want to see more of my content, subscribe. Subscribe. 
check out my Discord, Discord and Patreon down in the description. It really would help me out on this channel. If you join, if you help support, there's a block. If you help support me, and my Discord just allows you to talk to me directly. If you had any ideas for me, any ideas for videos, I could, you could message me instantly, and I keep Discord notifications on on that server. So, instant communication over the internet, yay. Turning you into a sociopath with physical contact, but on the plus side, you get to be extremely social with your friends in Australia. <laughs> or Asia, or anywhere else. Even in Alaska. Or Antarctica. Or the Arctic. That's a joke, because there's nothing but the Arctic Sea. Wait, no, there's Greenland. <laughs> well, anyways, ciao. I will see you guys in the next video. Hopefully it will be Factorio.